Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, but we have, today we have a Hyundai Ionic, doing a service, spark plug, supposed to be doing the HSG belt, uh, hybrid starter generator belt, but it's unfortunately it's on back order at the minute. So we have a blueprint air filter, a man oil filter there, screw on one, and then we have some genuine spark plug, and I'm sure the belt here. Yeah, I originally bought a belt which was supposed to be the right one, and it was like 664 mil, I believe. So I have one tensioner here for each SG belt, and we've got another tensioner there at the back, which there's a special tool for it, which I do have. Just looking forward to using it, but uh, we spent we're gonna inspect the belt see see if it's that bad but it's gonna have to wait because it's on back order now spark plug spark plug uh specs are there so 0 0.7 to 0 0.8 millimeter uh spark plug torque 20 newton meters and then coil 11. never never changed the spark plug on this car obviously so it's gonna be a bit of a learning curve here uh, let me show the parts because yeah the one that i had was like 664 mil there you go uh the one that we need is a 7 pk 994 millimeter and the part number from hyundai su5 ha0 5625 plus vt is the same one for the kia as well i believe so yeah works for both cars Another thing, good practice to keep the, the key away from the car, so, you know, it, the car doesn't start when, you, when you're working on it. So that's a good recommendation there. Under the car, so obviously jacked it up, axle stands, both sides. Under the car here we have a couple covers, which is down there, 10 millimeter bolt for the oil filter, screw on. And then we have the oil sump plug on this one, which is a 17 mil. Uh, I think the tightening torque for this bolt is 40 Newton meters. It's kind of, if it's correct, it's kind of a bit more than uh, I'm used to. I think it's 40 Newton meters kind of needed. But, uh, there you go. So, oil filter should be 14 Newton meters. Gonna make a little bit of a mess here. Yeah, so 40, I mean, is the specification for, for the oil sun plug, but it's slightly higher than I don't normally see, to be fair. So anyway, filter off. Right, so just had to stop and change uh, Zen light on the Skoda Octavia, or uh, Superb. A blimey nightmare. Anyway, the air filter seems to be pretty easy. It's pretty easy. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, the last time I serviced this car, I couldn't change the filter because they didn't have a. Well, they didn't have anywhere really. Air filter goes in on one side. There's only one way for this. I could actually do this when, when it was out of the car because we're gonna have to remove all this stuff here to get, gain access to the plugs. Mm -hmm. Or maybe add more cars and things longer. Oh, 
그리고 like it's loose. No, there's something here on the right. I don't know what. I don't know if it's a rubber, rubber connection thingy. Yeah, it is. One more here. Put this knuckle. The whole thing comes out. All right, so the coils we have 10 millimeter bolts. And the plug seems to have a security tab. They are all not that tight at all. Lovely. Ooh, don't know about this last one. Does it have enough room to come out? Yeah. Right, so 60 mil for the spark plugs. A little bit worn, but not too bad. So there you go, check the gap on this one, it's good, no grease, nothing like that. Yeah, I'm capping them up because they don't have any, any protection in the box. You know, they, normally when you buy NGK or Bosch, or oh, those brands, they, they come with a, so like a hard sleeve to protect it. But uh, this, this original ones don't have, you know, 70, 0 0.7 millimeter. That's pretty good. There you go, all done. There you go, all done. Plugs in. Put the connectors in. And this first locking tab here, I did break it a little bit, but it's still, still workable. As always, Got to break something, especially those tabs, nightmare. So this top right side here does have a, a rubber um, bushing down there that sits on it. So that's what the, I was talking about in the beginning. I couldn't lift it up after, after removing those two bolts. I'm gonna put some silicone there. Silicone spray. Oh, 
the time. It calls for, well, 17 from HSS 3.8. I've got three and a half here on a, on a jug. I want to, well, three and a half, check the level, start the car, all that palaver. I don't know if I mentioned before guys, but I left the key way away from the car because obviously I don't want the car to start. I press the ignition. No green lights yet. Eco. So I guess that's on. I don't know if you have a ready light for this car or not, but it's in parking. Generally, if you press the accelerator, you should start the engine. No, it doesn't start. Show me that the boot's open. All right, so as soon as I close the bonnet, go in the car, press start, the engine came on. So, happy with that. Oh, let's check the level. While I was down there, I topped up the coolant. It was a little bit low. And then topped up the uh, windscreen wash, which was, took pretty much five liters. All right, so that sounds sounding good. Yeah, three and a half liters wasn't quite enough. Don't know if you can see, but it's right here. So at least you get a little bit more. It's nearly halfway. A little bit more. Yeah, so that's good. Get the camera kind of focus pretty much there. So good with that. Perfect. And like I mentioned, nice and level now. Do it top top. And I'm gonna check the tires, brakes, and that sort of thing. I think there's a puncher on the rear there. But regarding the service, it's all done service required so it must be on the main panel here somewhere so I'm pressing that button there all right so let's go down service interval how do I press okay and ah, there there I just press the button itself Ooh, disappeared all right so just press the button service interval Now, should I do what? Hold it or something? Holding. Oh, yeah. Hold it. Reset time and distance. Yes. I'll go to the quick. Yes. There you go. 10,000 miles. The only thing left now is doing that HSG belt, which I don't know when it's going to be available um, a Hyundai. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to film the HSG belt. There's a special tool for it, which I believe is here somewhere. Where did I put it? There you go, found it in the end. So it's basically to hold that rear uh, tensioner there. Let's keep it together so you can remove the belt but anyway let me know in the comments if you want me to film that uh, probably in a few weeks two or three weeks hopefully uh the belt doesn't look too bad i really look for any cracks there it doesn't look that bad so it should last otherwise they're not going to be able to start the um internal combustion engine but anyway guys thanks very much for watching um and i'll see you in the next one cheers